but I don't understand. I thought these three liked Genshin Impact. Well, the thing is, is that when you're a content creator for the game, you have a certain, like, well, some people have a certain responsibility to think they need to uphold, like, a positive perception on YouTube. So sometimes they put out videos that are less than truthful about how they genuinely feel about the game state. But generally, you get a streamer's real thoughts whenever they're live at 6 a.m. and nobody's watching, right? So that's pretty much what this is from what I'm being told. But uh, yeah, I, I am actually curious. Apparently, they go off topic in between, but I think this is uh, Zyox, Tawano, and Zadjeff's real feelings on Genshin Impact, which is actually pretty interesting for me to hear, at least, because it's it's very hard to get some content creators to just say how they feel about a game. So YouTube is like, yeah, you know, it's much more like people expect something some kind of content yeah yeah some kind of some kind of like gist or scheme or like uh what's it called uh like gimmick to happen on today um, yeah so what he's saying is when you when you upload what Twano's saying is when you upload on youtube and zyox agrees that youtube essentially expects you to act a certain way uh, and if you don't act that certain way then they're going to be upset with you whether that's like a gimmick for your videos or forced positivity that's pretty much what they're going into here on like the day of the stream yeah i feel that There's like a certain expectation. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, I mean, honestly, like that's kind of how I feel about Genshin sometimes, where it's like, I mean, Genshin, uh, Genshin viewers expect content creators to be very, very, very one-dimensional, right? Like they want Zyox to be the Zhao guy. They want me to be the angry bald guy. They want to put everybody in bubbles because they don't really understand nuance whatsoever. I need that. Or they don't understand nuance. They don't understand sarcasm. Not everybody. Cause you can't blanket statement an entire community, but a, but a large majority. To, like do something or I'm just like running around. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel that. But yeah, kinda like, I kind of like stopped streaming for a while because of it. Yeah. Like if anything, I'm, I'm definitely just a YouTuber. Streaming is like, I want it to be something, but then like I'll have bursts of like streaming and then I'll just get to a point where it's like, well. Huh. <laughs> so in case anybody doesn't know what's going on. So Tawano went, uh, pretty much part-time on stream, and he does pretty much full variety, right? Because people who go live and force themselves to play Genshin Impact every day on stream, you gotta understand, like, full-time Genshin Impact streamers are not enjoying what they're doing. They're just simply not. Like, when they're just running around collecting mint and berries, they're not doing that because they want to do it. They're doing that because they know if they, st if they chill in the Genshin Impact category, their viewership will be higher by about 60 to 70%. And if they swap to a game they enjoy, they'll fall off severely, right? So it's kind of like this very unfortunate loop because there's only content about three days every six weeks for Genshin Impact. So a lot of streamers just sit there and do nothing but pretend they like it because, well, you know, I mean, it's a career, right? At that point, it's a job. I want us to be something. But we yeah, no, something. I agree. Like, yeah. You just like, just to let everybody know, Zyox does not want to sit here and collect pine cones. That is not, that is not what he's like, oh, dude, I need to collect all these pine cones. This is a, man, I really need to chill. I really need to chill in this directory. That's pretty much it. There's also more like, I feel like sometimes it's like a, a, a like a bot, like a, um, a boba. A boba. Okay, this is going to sound cringe, but it's like more of like an, almost an art form. Uh, like uh, not art, art, but like, what? 78 particles. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> not for you, but those oh, okay. There's like a bunch, but like, it's more like, I would upload something I'm proud of, but like streaming, like I'm just, I'm cranking yeah, my shit. That, but uploaded his Albedo, guys. Dude, why are you like, dude, it's like Sorry. three years old. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Nah, uh, keep, keep it coming, keep it coming. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's more of like, also sometimes when I stream, I, I feel like I'm wasting my time if it's like not turned into like a video. I don't know no, if that I, even makes I, sense. I, I, no, I know exactly what you mean. No, I know what you mean. It, it's kind of like a curse. Cause like you, you go on to stream and the point is to like relax and have a good time with the community. But then at the same time, it's like, well, it. First of all, that's like not what the point of streaming is. Okay, I will be real. The, the point of streaming is to not relax. Okay, if you have that take, I'm sorry. You're just like not a good streamer. Straight up. Like when you stream, bro, you are there to work. You were there to f work and you were there to connect and you were there to attempt to entertain people for a very long time. So that is actually the exact opposite of the point of streaming. If I'm relaxing, it doesn't feel like I'm working. Because you're not. That, that is not the point. Okay, that is not the point of streaming. And then mm. you have this expectation where it's like, okay, well, I need to be working somehow or feel like I'm working. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, as long as it's like you're doing good content and then it's like, well, this could have been like a, this could be a good like video or this could be. I mean, this right here is kind of the reason why when people try to transition out of Genshin into like actually streaming, people fall off severely. Cause like generally you can go live in the Genshin Impact category, collect mint and berries and have four or 5,000 viewers straight up, straight the f up. Right. And so when they go to other games or when they try to actually create content, that's not like a guide video. Like they don't know what the f they're doing. They don't know how to make transformative content and they don't know how to stream. Like it, it, it dude, streaming is not relaxing. That's just not a thing. Could be a good, like something. And then it's just, like not. And then I'm like, oh, well, minus 10 hours. It honestly kind of makes you a worse streamer, genuinely, because I actually think Xiox is pretty funny, right? Obviously, to a younger audience, like I, f I feel like Xiox is much funnier to a younger audience, and I think he's a good streamer. But but I think streaming Genshin makes you worse, and the reason why I know that is because when I only streamed Genshin, I was a terrible streamer, straight up terrible. And people enjoyed my content, but I had to realize they're only liking it because I'm playing this game, not because of what I'm doing, right? But uh, yeah, it definitely does make you worse. No, he's not. Okay, well that's your opinion. Yeah, I mean, I hey, if you don't like him, you don't like him. I'm just saying I feel like Zags has the groundworks to at least be entertaining in something else, right? In my, you don't have to like him. Hey, you like who you like. I'll never experience that. All of my videos are not great. <laughs> okay, no, but I'm talking about like things that don't Thank end you. up being videos. <laughs> Thank you, <the> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Congrats. Woo! Can't relate. Too talented. True. Yeah. <laughs> no, you've yeah. done more Chenyu Valley exploration like in this fall than I have since it came out. Yeah, I mean Loki like same since before this moment. I did the world <laughs> quest though with the f***ing like dude. I'm not gonna lie, this is like my like you know the subway server vid i'm just watching you run yep. around like as yeah. i just listen that's what to, this like, is a podcast essentially I mean, that's what genshin streaming is honestly oh yeah i've always said it's just chatting impact it's literally just chatting with the game background it's just all I, yeah, it, it, i've said that before it is I, I call it just chatting but with laser beams so you know, bro is trying to take ownership dude, over like, just chatting impact streamers should just okay no, like, just, like everyone thing, but... should just be in a call at all times like that's Power. infinite content Bro, bro, so let me tell you why it's not. And that's because the majority of Genshin Impact content creators, they can't talk. They, like, cannot yap. And the other thing is, when I said, when I said this two and a half years ago, you know why I actually got hate for that? I got hate from Atsu. And he said, well, not everyone wants to be friends. Not everyone wants to talk. Like, that is a take that I said two and a half years ago. And I was told I was horrible for even acknowledging that and for even presenting that point of view. Actually nuts. That, that's, that's what I like, like, I remember when I was making collab after collab after game show after game show, I was getting hate for that because, oh, well, we don't want to talk. It's like, all right, well then do your own thing. Why the f are you angry at me, bro? Holy shit. Streamers, you you hop in, you get in the lobby, and it's just like you play a game together. But like Genshin's co-op is just so sh like yeah, it's pretty open, it's pretty bruh. But games. So right there, Tawano wanted to say that the game was shit, but he changed it to be less harsh terms because Zyox's chat is very pro Genshin, and you don't want to say anything negative about the game. Like Valorant, it's like you also watch people to get better. Genshin, like there, there is that to some extent if you're like trying to learn. But like for the most part, it's just. Watch you. Yo, what is with all these shots? <laughs> well, no, it's literally no. uncalled for. <laughs> the the game knowledge of a Goliath. I mean, the thing is, and whether you want to admit it or not. The Genshin Impact category is incredibly modded, okay? So when you go into that category as a top streamer, you will get more views. And if you don't know that, then just download the add-on. The category is incredibly heavily modded. So it's not so much that a lot of people watch it. It just has that show us. Yeah, I'll show you right now. So there's an add-on that you can download, right? And it's a third-party add-on. You can download it. It says show authorized viewers ratio and gender, right? And when you enable this, it will show you like, how many real viewers are in the category or not. So like, as you can tell, there's a lot of channels with very weird amounts of viewers to ratio. Now, generally things are pretty genuine as long as they're like between 95 and 105, but some of the, the ratios just get really out of whack. Like how to 
Does this channel have 130% authorized viewers? This one only has 62% authorized viewers. How the f does this have 130%, 130%, 130%, 130%, 58%? Like the ratios just look weird as shit, right? It just makes no sense whatsoever, right? You know, like generally when you see someone stream, like let's pull somebody out real quick. Because the problem is, is that a lot of people who do play this game, they think that they're only getting viewers because they're engaging. And that's true, but their, their numbers are more inflated than they actually should be. So if we pull up one of my streams, for example, because uh, I know there's I know there's no bots in my uh, on my streams. I'll just pull up a random stream real quick. Is it them buying viewers? I mean, who's to say? You know, who's to say? I'm not going to accuse anybody of doing whatever, right? Uh, but if we click on a random one of my streams, let's pull up this one. Okay, so 95% users to viewer ratio. It's between the 95 and 105. Once you start getting below 90, it starts getting a little bit weird. Once you start going above 110, it gets a little bit weird. Right, but he goes up pretty smooth, up, down, 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 up, flat, flat, down, 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 up, down, 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 right? That's pretty much how a normal stream is going to look like when you swap from variety, when you swap from just chatting. It looks like a pretty normal stream, right? And let's pull up somebody else. Let's pull up, let's pull up a Zach Rar. Now, Zach Rar's graphs are going to be a little bit different due to the fact that he runs no ads. And so people will not be doing as many like leaving and joining and leaving and joining and leaving and joining. Let me just pull up a random stream real quick. Actually, I feel like it's better for me to pick any streamer that's not Zach Rar, but I'll. This is a very bad example because he is like, nah, he doesn't run the ads. Let me run some. Let me pick somebody else. Who's somebody else who's a big streamer who runs ads? Uh, let's do. Who's a big streamer that I know doesn't bot that runs ads? XQC. I'm pretty sure XQC bots. Uh, not by his own volition, but I'm pretty sure there are bots on XQC's channel. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, it's it's around the 85% viewer ratio. So most likely there is a amount of bots there, probably like six to seven K. Let's do Mr. Pokey. Mr. Pokey's like a bigger streamer. I know he does not bot. He plays a shit ton of Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, you know, you see like another person streaming, it goes up, 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 down, 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 up, up, You see, that's 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 like like a natural like stream curve, right? This is what every streamer has. This is what every streamer has, right? So then if we continue, and also after the chat for Mr. Puck, we miss him very much, right? So then if you pull up, if you pull up a Zyog stream, like the, the, the viewers, it's just very, very, very flat. You see what I'm saying? And like, when I see that a stream is like this flat for this long, something here doesn't add up, right? So like that to me is like giga sus. Now, once again, I don't think that, I don't think that any of these streamers are going out of their way to bot. And, and to be honest, even if they are, I'm not going to hold it against them, right? Because at the end of the day, if you're going to make it some way, one way or another, eh, go for it, I guess. I mean, until Twitch cracks down on people view botting, there's not really anything that you can do, right? But the problem is, is that I think some of these streamers are being view botted by something else to make them think that they need to continue playing this game. And the moment that they play the other game, will all the bots go away. And that kind of pigeonholes them into a category that they don't really enjoy being in. And in yeah. my opinion, it's, it, for example, this this is a problem all over Twitch. I'm just trying to I prove my point, okay? What the? F I don't know. I think he has like extended follower mode. Like you have to be followed for a little bit longer. Got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. Okay. Oh no, he's fine. Six 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 nine nine eight one. Okay, cool. And then you go back and you compare that. Um, so even, okay, okay, so doesn't he have drops or something? No. Not right now, I don't think. Okay, I mean, I mean, 10k is not the end of the world. It's not, it's not, it's not too crazy. I, I wouldn't, I, even in the world where you would, you would still call him out, oh, guys, geez, you're buying, you're buying, that layer of whatever is like, it's not something you'd be deliberately doing. It's just not, uh. Exactly. And so XQC has the same take as me where it's like at this point, like everybody's just botting. And it's like a, it's like a lost cause. So if Jinxie, one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, still has 15,000 bots in his chat, right? Whether that be Twitch, whether that be the companies, whether that be an anonymous concerned person. At this point, if you're not botting, you're just going to be left behind, which is why I continuously f myself, right? Because if I were to just bot like four or five thousand viewers, people were to think that I'm a bigger streamer than I actually Damn, and whether you want to admit it or not, whoever's in the top left is going to be getting the most viewers in these categories. So it's kind of like one of those, well, there's not really, you're kind of damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, right? 
There, there's not really anything you can do anymore because everybody's just botting either by themselves or someone else. Call me David. I don't know what the chest is. Though. I was Anyways. gonna defend you, but I changed my mind. Okay. But yeah, I wish we did have real co-op. Dude, imagine raids. I would actually like have to change my pants. It actually really bums me out because the majority of times I ever hear about Genshin Impact players talking about Genshin Impact, they're talking about all these things they wish they had, but they'll never get. I rarely ever go into a Genshin Impact streamer's chat and hear them being like, man, yeah, I'm really content with the game state. I just hear them begging and asking for more things that they'll never get. And then probably saying some dumb gay shit. That, no, that, that's the... And when I say dumb gay shit, I mean disingenuous gay shit that they don't believe in, but they want to form a demographic of gay people because Genshin Impact is very, uh, it's very woke, very SJW, and saying that you're gay or bisexual makes you cool in the community. Like, if they added any sort of, like, this is the thing about, like, ZZZ especially, it's like, okay, Genshin... It's called gay baiting. So people pretending to be gay to have a better social perception online, generally Twitter. In greatest free open world like star rail one of the best turn-based rpgs true now. on like all on mobile what the f is yep. easy doing like what what are they doing right now oh, bad. furry furry bait what it's, best furry dude, game of all un time like unironically like everything i've seen from like marketing material out of zzz just yeah. seems like they know their audience and it's coomers and they are embracing it fully i respect that yeah Okay, that's a really shitty take, and let me tell you why. Because Zenless Zone Zero doesn't have a f audience yet, so you can't know your audience before it's established, right? So they're not doing that because they know their audience. There is no Zenless Zone Zero audience. Now, what you could have said is they're trying to capitalize on an audience full of coomers, but they don't know their audience because they don't have that yet. Yeah, but then it's like gameplay. And then you say they know their audience, which is coomers, then why did they nerf Nicole's tit size? Yeah, why is like... They're trying very hard to make very fluid combat. Is what they're trying to do. Well, At the end of the day, yeah. Like, like, what, what, what are, what are people going to come back to play for? Essentially, I that, that, that isn't like aesthetic wise. I enjoy. Okay, well then, ask the same question about Genshin because it's one million percent aesthetic. Enjoyed the combat, but like, I didn't like the out of combat. Like, I wish if it was all combat, I'd have fun. I didn't like going through the TVs and like reading the comic book. I also think Zenless Zone Zero is very overhated. Genuinely, like the game is very overhated. I actually think the game is properly stylized. And I think the combat's actually pretty fun. But I enjoy the combat. So it's like a yeah, weird. Like the yeah. visual novel. But the TVs I, did I suck. I don't know how it's going to play out, to be honest. It feels very like. I don't know. I mean, yeah. What the the gameplay right now is like kind of roguelike, which is like. Okay. But. I, 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 if they added like co op. Like, that would save the game. I feel like a like lot of one. games that aren't fully roguelike give roguelike features without giving... Co-op and Zenless Zone Zero would suck balls and remove all difficulty. It's a terrible take. I think, like, the good part. Like, it's, like, almost good. It's, like, roguelikes need, like, progression, like, out of game, where it feels like you're progressing, even if you, like, lose or get... F and, like, there's, like, a reward that you're, like, looking forward to. And you're, like, yes, like, I found this in the TV. Or it's, like, a oh, lot of, like... Oh, yeah, 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 A lot of games, like, RuneScape... Okay, RuneScape released a game mode recently that has, like, a roguelike system and it's so shit because it's just you lose you lose you lose you lose, and it's like there's no progression and like azenless kind of has like some stuff but it's like coliseum the invocations are literally just debuffing you there's nothing to look forward to since you get by rng you have to lose an hour of your life nobody cares about runescape or 20 minutes no but it's like it's like a kind of roguelike system where it's new it's a different run every time it's fully random anyways but it's like the reason why I think they don't add like the full on like experience of a, like, a rogue like sim like game, it's, it's because like it's it's Mihoyo at the end of the day and they can't make it ultimately yeah. competitive at its core where people yeah. will just like, yeah, uh, yeah, they, they can't they, they, they won't put players against each other essentially, which to be honest, I, I hear a lot is a bad thing, but the more you play it and the more you understand the business, it's a very wise decision, right? Like. PvP and gotchas, people really don't like that shit, okay? And to be honest, I played Cookie Run Kingdom, and I'm not going to lie. The amount of money I've dumped into that game due to the existence of PvP, I'm actually glad that they're not doing more PvP in the game because it does just become a wild wars. Well, I mean, okay, to be fair, Star Rail's simulate. I think Simulated Universe is sick. Like, the, um, the idea of it and, like,
No, okay, and that's the problem right there is because you're saying the idea of it, okay? Simulated Universe is really not that good anymore. It was fun for a little bit, but right now it's more of a chore. Now, I will admit, Memory of Chaos and Pure Fiction are very, very, very good. They're very, very, very fun. Golden Gears are great. Swarm, Swarm Disaster was great. But uh, the problem is it's very hard to find, find a mode like that and make it sustainable and enjoyable long-term. It's where they're adding in characters like Acheron because they can tell the, the attention span of the players are getting lower and lower and lower and lower, so they want characters to be able to artificially decrease the amount of time that it takes to complete it because they can tell that people are getting more tired of content like that which is why you know characters like ruan may and uh, akron exist My opinion. like a lot of like the Skyward. like i don't like farming like sometimes well, like now it's easy for me i don't like farming for right in uh, what's her name akron's ball like it's annoying but it's like i enjoy the simulated universe mechanics i enjoy golden gears swarm like that's kind of uh like you know it's a different run every time it's cool I do find it very rich when Genshin Impact players are so comfortable shit talking HSR for grinding when in reality Genshin Impact grinding takes eight times as long as it does in Honkai Star Wars and it's not automated. No, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Honestly, just... the, the, the cynic in me feels like Hoyo's never going to add that sort of stuff in their games. Well, no, it's not the cynic in you. It's the rational being where you know Hoyoverse will not completely change the genre of their game four years after its release, after making $66 million a month after delivering their player base garbage. I don't know what the fuck Zajif thinks that he's saying, but good God, what a waste of a take. Because... They don't want to add too much non-swiping gameplay. No, want, that, they want the gameplay. I don't, I don't know. No, I don't think that's true. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. They especially not for Star Rail though. I'm glad they called him out for that. Because I feel like it, they want to funnel you to other games. Like I feel like they want you to play other games, right? That's like logical. I don't know about that, actually. But really? <laughs> like, okay, I don't, I don't think like don't Genshin's know. think about Star Rail. Star Wars think about Genshin. But I think like. Okay. So first of all, one million percent they are thinking about each other. They're games from the same company. So yes, they are considering each other. If, for example, they're like, okay, like if Genshin players are missing something and they'll be like, okay, well, you can find this in Star Rail. Like, go get your end game. Go get your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. It's like... Okay, let me tell you why this is a horrible take. I'm going to let Tawana continue. It's like how Riot right now is like making every single game genre in the world. Like... No. And let me tell you why it's not like that, okay? When Hoyoverse says, oh, end game's not in Genshin, go get your end game at Honkai Star Rail, that is way different than someone playing League of Legends and going to Valorant to play an FPS. A League of Legends player who wants an FPS isn't going to be angry at League for not having an FPS because it's not an FPS game. Hoyoverse making Genshin Impact not have endgame so you go to Honkai Star Road to play it because it has endgame, that just means that Genshin Impact is not a complete game. And Honkai Star Rail is. Honkai Star Rail exists perfectly in its own entity. Genshin Impact pump fakes players into thinking that they're grinding for a game mode that will never exist and says, oh, if you want endgame, congratulations, you farmed all these artifacts, go play the TCG. So that is way different, okay? Because Riot makes separate, complete games. Valorant is complete. League of Legends is complete, okay? Legends of Runeterra is complete. Genshin is not complete. Honkai is complete. Honkai Star Rail is complete. Genshin is missing the thing that a lot of players want. Like fighting game, yeah. um, shooting game, a MOBA game. Moho is trying to like do that right now with like their RPG games right now. This is what it feels like. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I also think like... I don't know. Like, one of the reasons... Yeah, Good. yeah I don't know. It, the fact that it's gotcha always tilts me because it's like... I feel like a lot of changes aren't going to be added because it's gotcha. But like, that's what the game is, right? Like, for example... Uh, I don't know. No, it's hard for You're sure. You're never... Like, yeah. They ha at the end of the day, if they're going to make a change, it has to be marketable. Yeah, exactly. And you're never going to get something like a skip button, even if you don't want it. Like something like that can't happen because it's like, well, you have to see the characters. So you're like, oh my God, she's so cute. And then you swipe like that's the right. Like, I don't get like, I'm not going to lie. 
Nahida, before I did Nahida's quest, stupid ass toddler, get the f out of here. But like, I did her quest, I'm like, okay, she's a cool character. <laughs> no, like, real. <laughs> then I did the story quest, like, oh, okay, maybe I do like children. <laughs> okay, let's, let's relax with this take. And second of all, nah, it's just a bad business decision. No, like, I'm not playing a child in this game full of like, hot men and women. Like, I'm not playing a toddler, f you. But like, I played her, she's fun as f I saw the story quest. Cool design, like backstory, whatever. Not the, like, you know what I mean? Like the lore was cool. I'm like, okay. I mean, you, you I can't believe all you got to do to farm based is to say you like hot men and hot women in Dioxus chat. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, other chats are so easy to please. Why the f are y'all so difficult, bro? Like I'll be saying shit that other content creators would think that their career would be ended if they even admitted. I can't get a single based. You want to know why? Because the shit I say is so based, people are afraid to type based. And because people saying the shit that I say horrifies them. And you know that's the goddamn truth. You're right at the end of the day, because like it, the story was the market ploy to get you to like pull for her essentially. Yeah. It's a good story. Here's a better one. Because you got some L takes. Okay, name them. The guy you won, the guy you won is correct. And also, by the way, that means you had to go back three years to think of an L take. Uh, and also, Ganyu is one of the greatest sub-DPS in the entire game, so no, I'm not wrong. So one take you disagree with in three years, and now you're saying it's because I have L takes. Three-year-old meta takes that you disagree with, but now if you go on any single tier list, you'll see as Ganyu is one of the number one sub-DPS. That's the only one, right? Yeah, that's it? Yeah, I know. <sighs> I get him out. Point proven. Anyways, let's continue. Sorry, like the really good story, but it's, a we'll lot see. of it is, for me, it's like... I'll see Farina just visually. I'll be like, okay, like, you know, maybe I'll pull. I don't know. I'll do a request. Like, oh, shit, I love Farina. Like, I need Farina. So, yeah. But if there's I mean, a skip be, button, I wouldn't yeah. get that. I just skip through it. Or I'd, like, I'm, me personally, I would do the Archon quest, but I'm saying, you know, yeah, anyways. I mean, that's kind of why there isn't a skip button. I mean, like, even in Star, like, there's a skip button, but it's only for, like, stuff you've already, like, seen. Okay, here we go. The tweet you made after playing Kakomi's trial was what made me unfollow you. It was the worst take I've seen in the Genshin space. I also didn't like you. After what happened the last three months, I kind of love you, my little twin. Okay, so what was the Kakomi take? That after Ayaka, they forgot to design characters. So let me get this right. So you were upset when they released Kakomi, and she was the worst character in the entire game as of time of release. You were upset that I said the character was bad because she was the worst character in the game. She got better. Years later, when they added Dendro, but as of time of release, she was ass. And we all know she was ass. So unless you're saying that I should be able to predict the future of every single character as the release on how they're going to be in two years, kind of a shitty take. She was always the best healer in the game, and they introduced Corrosion then. No, she was terrible. Bennett was better. She was not the best healer. Bennett was much better. Diona was much better. You were straight up cap. Like, bro, bro, bro. If you don't think that Kakomi was not, if you think Kakomi was not made relevant by Dendro, you were just straight up wrong. Like, literally lying for fun. And when a four star character was that much better than Kakomi, and you still don't get that, I can't do anything about that, sweetheart. Okay? It's not my fault that you're an idiot. So I don't know what you want me to do here, man. Same. Yeah, I think so World like, Quest should, but maybe that's my toxic take. I don't know. Honestly, I, I think the most egregious thing isn't even... Let's just uh, keep in mind that these L takes that I'm having are just opinions that people disagree with over three-year-old meta takes in Genshin Impact. So let's just let's just make sure that's what all of these dorks are saying my bad takes are. The lack of a skip button is that the text rolls out slower than you can read. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can't click. There, it's like when you're walking behind someone who's walking just a little bit too slow. <laughs> like, that shit pisses me off. True. You're like, stop me, get fast. I, I, that shit happens to me every time I go to New York, bro. I'm like, what, what, what am True. I going to do? Like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. And like, I wouldn't mind the lack of a skip button if the text rollout happened at a speed where I could just be mashing spacebar and just reading. You know? Yeah, I, I, I mean... Yeah. I also like my second account has to go every like I'm the only reason I'm not Can you hear how hard these people are trying to not shit talk the game?
when when you talk about the game state, they go, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, it's like, God, it's so pain. Ought fully max my free to play count is I don't feel like sitting through every Archon quest again and I can't skip through it. Like, there's nothing I can do. I have to, I need Sapwood Blade. I'm gonna have to save the r and R's. I mean, I, I can't say Genshin caters towards multiple accounts. Well, yeah, I know, but like, yeah, also yeah. should say like objectively it would help people if they could skip through some stuff but it would hurt like the revenue of characters that won't happen yeah i think that's correct i do think adding a skip button would hurt sales however i think it would help more players play the game because the majority of people don't want to play to get to an option to buy the characters because they're so stun locked by shit they don't care about and all of the people who aren't mentally ill, when they're not enjoying it, when they're not enjoying a game, do you know what they do? They just stop playing the game. They don't think, oh man, I gotta get through it. They just think, oh, okay, well, I'll just stop. Right, like, but yeah. yeah I do think that- dialogue that just like slows down and you can't like skip. Yeah. Yes, as long as it does that. I do think having something that would cater to like MMO players, not MMO, what's the word? Well, maybe MMO or RPG, like one, okay, my point is one co-op thing that could get me to tell my friends, dude, my friends, I, I've said this for like, since I started playing, my friends will be like, yo, I want to play, like, should I play Genshin with you? I'm like, we literally can't do shit. Like you, you could play the game, it's good, but like, what the f are we going to do together? Like, you're going to do a domain, I'm going to clear it in two seconds, and then you're going to go to bed. Like Dude, one a thing, a bunch of people in, in in Nick and I's high school friend group started playing Genshin and just quit as soon as they realized there was no end game. Or like I, co op, like we're not gonna do shit together. Like I'm not yeah. gonna like if I could. Okay, even if exploring together, like the chest would register to my world or some shit. I don't know. Like give me a reason. There's no reason. So here's what it is. Do you want to know what the real co op in Genshin is? Being in somebody else's world, jumping up and down, and being excited that your friend's there. And you know what's crazy? That's enough for most of the kids who play this game. They will sit there and just be excited that their friend is also in the same game as them. And that's it. I don't know. I mean, exploring together is pretty cool, actually, but... It And there it is! And there it is! It is. No, 100%, but like, yeah, but I- Yeah, but then I, you I, can't unlock, like, Statues of the Seven and go No, off, yeah, it, like, it, that's what I'm saying. Cool. Like, if if they synced, like, if they had an- Like, think about it like this. There's an option in your settings, like, sync exploration and co-op. Like, yes. so that way, if people want to do it alone, they can do it alone. Who the f cares? No one cares about you. But if you want to do it True. together, you can! No you friend can have an ass loot! Sorry. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? They're not going to do that because that'll make players feel isolated, right? And they want everyone who plays Genshin Impact to go through the same trauma, right? It's called trauma bonding. Because if they all play through the same horrific exploration experience by themselves, well then, bada bing, bada boom, they can all talk about how much they don't like it. Yeah. I didn't say all that, but that's <laughs> right. my point. Yeah. Speaking, my point. speaking of like optional things and like changes and whatever, okay. I wish that when they made it so that, like, artifact domain... Wait, Luocha? Sorry. What the f*** was the Uncle Luo? Okay, my bad. Keep talking. You wish? I wish that when they made it so that artifact domains don't have their drops, like, drop down and instead just directly just show up. <laughs> I wish they made that an option instead of just rolling it out. Oh, yeah. The artifacts that used to be on the ground, you mean? They look Dude, sick. Dude, I miss that. Yeah, I, I miss it too. I like... I like Mashing F and hearing the doop, doop, Yeah, doop. or seeing the goal. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is Genshin Impact's load limit is terrible. I mean, you can barely have 20 different objects inside your Serenity teapot. Do you think they can actually handle when people use a condensed resin to get double drops on the ground? Double we'll drop, like yeah. It. I miss it too. It makes me feel happy inside. That was a very. It was also just pointless tedium, to be honest. A niche take, but yeah, I, I know most people don't care. I mean, I don't really like. It was just it was I don't care, tedium, but it would be nice matter. to be able to do it. Okay, but I'm also tilted by the. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we're talking about wanting quality of life features in a Genshin. Just, just, <laughs> just like the preface, we're asking for quality of life features. Anyways, yeah, continue. <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, okay, uh, this is something that I also think most people don't care about, but it bothers me. I, I think there's a con- I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just for content, but I like the- the artifact- when I roll an artifact for it to pop up and show me what I got. Like, I don't know if people actually- like, I feel like most people don't care. Like, it's whatever. But like, I don't know, like, I can't make it hype anymore. It's just like, oh, defense. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, I find it very annoying when content creators ask for changes to the game just because they want to make better content, but that affects less than 0.0 to the ninth power 1% of players. I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's definitely a good thing that they remove the pop-up for, like, to level up. Yeah, for, like, ascending characters so, like, and every, shit. The, the stuff that rolls should, like, should still be a pop-up, yeah. I hate how watching this stream is giving me FOMO because I should have pulled Zan Yun because she looks like fun to like go through the world faster. Why don't they also just add like the, the indicator of how many? I think I need to buy her just so I can run around faster. That got upgraded. Yeah, that's a star rail thing. That I yeah, can yeah, flex I my beast is so much easier, man. People don't oh, realize. People call them the death pieces. Presumptive. They're just yeah. good. I also love the whole time bros running around, he's collecting chests of, uh, with five Primo gems where he could just spend a dollar, get more Primo gems than he can farm naturally in three hours. It's just like, oh, four rolls on defense. Oh, yeah, yeah Genshin's one. been getting more quality of life, but it's still like, we need like, you know. Dude, it, every the, quality the, of the life thing, feature we're getting it's like, is like half a quality of life yeah. feature that is like pretending to be something that people want, but it's just- Two wrong. Primos, not five? Yeah, I feel like it's- it's Damn, not that's proactive. Rough. It's reactive. They're only doing yeah. it because like, oh no, Weathering Waves is coming. Or, oh no, Star Rail is being Star Rail based. On... It's like, I, I, sure, eventually we'll get it, but I wish it was coming yeah. from the right, um, what's the word? The, the right, the right place. The right, yeah, come like coming from the right. There's a, no, there's a better word, guys. This, help me out. There's a better, there's a better Intentions. word Intentions. Intentions, yes, exactly. Personally, I don't give a f what the intentions are. Give me real artifact presets. But I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it shouldn't just be like react to, oh, we're afraid of this. Uh okay, so I find it nuts that I've been saying that playing these other games, advocating for these other games will force the company to change. No one backs me up publicly. But at a 5 a.m. live stream, they say exactly what I've been saying. Genshin will change if other games succeed. Holy f man. People speaking up after Atsu got exposed. Coincidence? Here's what I don't get about the whole Atsu thing. Let's say that everything that people were saying about Atsu was true. And he was bringing them Hoyo contracts. You know who can bring all of these content creators more money than Atsu? This guy. And you know what's crazy? I don't think any of them knew that. Because you want to know, like, a real take? I'll keep it a buck. Everybody who hasn't been a piece of shit, I have been bringing thousands of dollars to. Okay, I mean, essentially, yesterday, and ask your favorite content creator. Yesterday, I brought 16 content creators to Gamersubs. And yesterday, I signed five more people to Mythic Talent. So, like, you know, I mean, I'm all cool if people are going to be disingenuous towards me to make money. I'm cool with that, man. But let's just stop being afraid of mother... Because here's the thing, you know, as long as you're not a shithead and you just speak your mind and you be truthful, hey, man, I'll, I'll hook you up with gamer subs. I'll send them your way right now, man. It's easy. Box 2, th yeah, yeah, even... Hey, you know who I got? Gamer subs and Mythic Talented? Box 2. <laughs> I just got this guy hooked up. You want to know why? Because he's not a piece of shit. He's not... I mean, you know, what can I say? And there's many more. There's many... More, but you know what I love doing? I love bringing money to content creators because it sucks. It sucks when you fear for your livelihood. So, you know, man, hit me up if you need any sponsors, guys. I got y'all. It's my, it is my, you guys will never understand this. Listen, guys, I love streaming. I love streaming. But if there's one thing I love more than streaming, it's ensuring that my friends are taken care of. And I love bringing sponsorship to creators. When I retire as a streamer, I will be going full time corpo mode. 100%. Okay, you want to tell me, let me tell you why I love Mythic Talent. It's because it's creator first. Okay? And so when a company tries to f the creators, we say no. We do not prioritize companies over creators. That's why it is the best ad agency on the planet by far and also factual, the most profitable for creators. That is a actual fact. 
the most lucrative for creators to join. That is a literal fact. And we take care of creators first because here's the thing. If the companies are treating our creators like shit, why would we want to work with that company? You wouldn't. You simply, you simply would not. And GamerSubs is also goaded. So, yo, get this shit using code OTK. Can we please get a code for just me soon? I'm tired of shilling for these other who don't do shit. Okay, that would be great. Get Gamer Subs too. Gamer Subs is one of the easiest drinks to sell as a creator because it actually tastes good. <laughs> Imagine that when your energy drink doesn't taste like shit, it's way easier to sell. Oh, and by the way, dude, last night I took a, a scoop of AFK from uh, Gamer Subs. It's the sleep one they have now because they're making new supplements to go to sleep to. I took a scoop of AFK and then uh, I took one pill of lavender. I was out like a light. That's why I'm up and fresh as right now while all these other content creators are tired it's like, oh i had to wake up early for the live stream nah bro i just slam afk from gamer subs get yourself some hold otk um, yeah i'm just thinking more like conceptually as a principle like yeah yeah make me happy it's one of those things that where, like i definitely agree i also know that that's never gonna happen because they're a gotcha company well yeah <laughs> okay okay zajef that's cope as a because you're saying it's not going to happen because they're a gotcha company, but every other gotcha company does this shit. It is strictly because it's Hoyo. For you, because they want to make you happy and have a good experience. They're going to do things because it makes them money. No, you. this cope is so bad. Yes, companies are going to make choices to make money, but when people say, oh, dude, it's a gotcha company, they only care about money. Yes, they obviously care about money like every other company does. But here's the thing, man. If your players are happy, they will give you more money. This is a take from somebody who only plays Genshin Impact. Like, I, there's no shot Zadjev has played more than 10 gotchas. There is no way. Yeah, that's true with like, most. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Sure, 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 we'll get... No, it's a weak excuse at trying to seem base. That's all it is. But if you think about it for longer than five seconds... It makes no sense. Like, okay, artifacts, loadouts, like, who knows? Who if I know three years from now, right? But like, if they had the right intentions, we could have had it like day one. Yes, but do you want to know why artifact loadouts don't exist? It's because players don't need them. Okay, because people aren't supposed to be playing this game hardcore. And you only need those if you're a hardcore player. This is a baby game made for babies. You don't need multiple artifact loadouts. RQLs from feedback. Well, that's not not really like yes for like pa like let's say people feedback. Oh, Dea's skill should last longer. Dea's burst like I'm jumping and it cancels. What if I get frozen? Like what the f is this character? That's like okay, you need feedback for that, sure. But like let's say you're just like hey, like you know we feel like our players. Fuck it, let's make constellations toggleable. Like no one's even talking about that anymore. But like yeah, you want to know why? Because I left the f game and i was the only person who was advocating for proper quality of life changes and you know what's crazy when i said that shit i got met with sheer anger and toxicity that's why because this community bullies anybody out of the community who wants the game to get better and so at that point anybody with above a you know room temperature iq thinks why would i want to try to help a game with the worst community on earth like they're like you know or some shit where it's just like, hey, maybe we, you know, we care about you. And the other thing is, it's even more frustrating when I see so many people who are able to advocate for change and they won't do it because they're cowards. Straight up cowards. Are you guys hear something cool? They do care about us. They gave us artifacts. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't. Sorry, sorry. I mean, artifact loadouts. They renamed them from presets because they knew it wasn't presets. You sound so salty. No, no, no. I don't sound salty. I am salty. I'm pissed off. I'm bitter. Honestly, I'm angry as straight up. And there's no reason to lie about that. And that doesn't make any of my points invalid whatsoever. It was a miserable experience. And here's the thing, okay? Everybody told me I was going to fall off after Genshin. Hey, guys, I'm doing pretty okay. I, you know, you know, as as a top 200 streamer on the platform for Twitch, I think I'm doing pretty okay. But these people need to understand is that I sit here 
And I listen to all of these things that these people are saying they wish would happen, right? When, when I was advocating for this, and I see all the chat saying true, true, true based. When I was advocating for this shit three years ago, two and a half years ago, I was called toxic, aggressive, and uh, generally just unpleasant. But now all these people are thinking, oh, Tectone was right. And I sit here like a bitter parent looking at my kid thinking, you know, this dumb would have just taken my advice. Maybe they wouldn't have got hurt. But the problem is they don't want to listen. So yeah, bitter. Why would I not be bitter? Because these people who I've tried to help for years are finally starting to get it. But me, eh, hey, 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 I'm good. Eh, I'm good, pass. That's slightly better. But yeah, I mean, this, this comes from like the, <laughs> yeah, this comes from the, I love this game and I want it to succeed. Just give me a little bit more. Well, no, that's not where it comes from because the game is, it is succeeding, right? It's $66 million profitable. You just want these changes for you because out of almost every single thing that you've suggested, it was just simply a hardcore thing that you wanted implemented that nobody cares about. But besides the skip story button, that would be a great one. A bit. Uh, yeah, it's like after, you, you know, I used to fell out every survey. Every Same. survey. Yeah, me too. And then I, the third year just stopped because I was like, I, they don't no, nothing is happening fast. Straight up, they like, don't. They don't reach like, shit. I still fill out every single Honkai Star Rail survey and Wuthering Waves because they actually listen. Genshin does not listen. The questions. It's it's the the way they're asking questions and the way they're collecting data. It looks more like a okay. I need to collect data to show my balls that I'm doing. Okay, okay. Well, I mean... Rather than <laughs> I'm actually looking for feedback on things to improve. Did you guys read the interview between uh? Uh, the, the lead producer for the Honkai series and FGR. I heard about that. It's a I, really interesting article to read. You just totally like look. I it did up. not read but, it. I I think that says it all. Where all three of these players who still actively make content for the game all agree in unison that this company does not listen. And it's great because I've been saying that shit for years. And you know what I kept on being told: be patient. You need to be patient. Be patient. They'll listen. Same as the guy who came in here, who was angry at me for shit-talking Kakomi when she first came out. Be patient, they'll fix her. And sometimes, they do. Kakomi was one instance where they did. Out of the 999 other times where they don't. And that's why that cope take is so bad, it's insane. I can only tell you how something tastes. I can't tell you how food on another table tastes. I can only tell you how my steak tastes, the one that's in front of me. I don't know how the one in the back is going to taste that you're cooking. Okay, I can only tell you it's on my plate. So that's why giving takes about how a game state is right now is important because that's the only thing I can eat. So no, I don't get it told, hey guys, we're shipping in this Wagyu from Japan that's going to be here in two years. Well, unfortunately, this one steak is the only thing I have to eat until that shit comes in. So I'm going to tell you if it's undercooked or not. Insane, bro. Can I pull it up? It's the same thing for these who just say, oh, just wait. Get through an hour and a half of story quest, and then the story gets really good. No, I'm good. I'd rather just play a game where it's good the entire time. Honestly, it's a, it's worth a look because you get to see like, kind of like the decision making on the Hoyo's end. Why are we screaming though, lol? If you think that what I just did was screaming, good God, you must have been bullied so much when you were a kid. Because I cannot tell you how much louder I can get. That is me barely raising my voice. The problem is that you surround yourself with soy cuck little boys. Okay, and then you are, you're in the presence of a person who's actually a man. And you get, you get intimidated. Because you see someone with actual passion. Okay, here's the thing, man. I'm not going to apologize for being passionate. This shit pisses me the fuck off. I'm not going to sit here and be like, Oh, well, I really, I really sure hope they, they come and give me a scoop of ice cream. I sure would really like that. I'll say, hey, bitch, hurry the fuck up. Bring me my soda. Because I'm not going to sit here like a little pussy. I'm sorry that the only people you know are weak soy boys. I don't know what else you want me to say, man. People are, there's like, they're allergic to passion, man. Anybody who slightly raised their voice, they get nervous. They start sweating, coming in their pants. Specifically Honkai's, but you can definitely like. What's a soy boy? Look up Razor Ninjas on Twitch. You'll see one right there. Like, imagine how like Genshin would also. Act similar. Like one of the most interesting things they 
no uh, was translated in the article was that uh, public opinion won't influence changing a like character design decision or anything. And I was just like, I mean, that makes complete sense. But at the same time, we've seen like, we've seen, yeah, yeah I, was about, I was about to say like, it makes sense, but we've also seen that not like actually happened though before. I mean, this, however, this is only Genshin because again, this is this is the Honkai like producer saying this, not the Genshin. Yeah. Although to be fair, we have kind of seen that. Like I know they fixed wrong league or whatever. Imagine when you have a character that can dash four times, jump infinite into the air. Another character that can also jump three times, bounce infinitely in the air. Okay, and the mob design is a ruin guard stomping one time after seven seconds. But like, I feel like Raiden was a big thing. Yo, me up people were saying we're broken. Kokomi, everyone was crying about. And then Dea is still like Dea. So I feel like if they did. It's C6. No, I promise you, Zhao can still dash around at warp speed and jump ridiculously high in the air at C0. Like, listen to people more. There would be, I feel like there would be some changes, at least to Dea. No, 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 you're right. But it's like, no, 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 no yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's John, John Ling was like such a special one because it's like, yeah, it's an archon. It's straight, it's straight from uh, as well, like straight from like their like culture, essentially. Yeah, like, no. it's like we got to make the Chinese character strong because it's a China game. Don't matter about nothing else. We got to make the China man strong. The god of the region that's supposed to represent China. Yeah, right. and so like when like, the entire Chinese community is like mean upset. Something different than yeah, yeah. Last year, you know? I, I do feel like that specifically is a uh, outlier. Yeah, yeah. But in general, yeah, that that that, that statement like. Y'all notice how every character in the Hoyoverse uh, or in Genshin that has dark skin is just is weak. Have y'all noticed that? Y'all tracking that right? Like every character with dark skin in Genshin back is weak as. Hey, and in, Ho and in Honkai too, Arlon sucks, Dea sucks, Zinyan sucks. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. Suck with me in that article. Yeah. Because it reminds you at the end of the day, like, they, they will do whatever they want, no matter what. And they Candace? Can. I mean, I've been saying, like, this is another thing I've been saying, like, a lot of other games will have, like, a, like a dev that, like, talks to the community a little bit. I'm saying we need a John Impact. John Genshin. That was me, bro. That was me. And when I was saying all the things that every creator wanted to say out loud, nobody backed me up. Now, I will let you guys know this, and uh, I probably shouldn't even be talking about this, but I'm going to do it anyways because I don't care. So I tried to contact a uh, Hoyoverse representative for two weeks. Zero response. They hired a new guy who previously worked at Riot, and they've been at least attempting to communicate with me. So they're at least doing something. Problem is our schedules are severely not lining up, but we'll see where that conversation goes to. We'll see. And John Impact, and he just like pretends he like he like he listens to us a little. He talks to us, hey, this is what we're doing, and he like pretends to care. And then we're like, oh, I love John Getchin. I love John Getchin, and like reassures us, like, oh, we're being heard. That's what I think. That's what I think. John, we, we need a more, more, a more dog. That's what I'm saying. A Ben Bro. <laughs> but like we had um, we need Bro Impact. <laughs> I think was it Star Rail or Genshin stream? Probably Star Rail. But there was one. Yeah, the, I think it's Star Rail, where they like for the anniversary, they like talked a little bit about like some player concerns. Like they talked about like leaks for the first time or like some other shit. No, that shit was insane. It was not a little bit. That was a huge deal. It wasn't like a full thing, but it was like a little yes, thing. Yes, it was. was. Like, hey, what like the f do you mean it wasn't a full thing? They talked about literally every community concern for the peak of 2.0 live stream on their biggest live stream. It was a huge deal. You know, this is the story is going to be. Like, why do these people downplay anything that Honkai Star World does well? Like, what the f*** is? Like, this is like, hey, like, for leaks, like, you know, we wish for the story, no, no, no. And, like, it was, like, cool. I was, like, oh, shit. I'm was. That is not how that was. It was literally, like, guys, these leaks, they've been really f***ing with our games. And we're going to do whatever it takes to make sure 
that you guys don't also have to deal with story leaks because we know that it ruins the quality of your game. They even had a heart rate monitor on, and we all know how I feel about heart rate monitors. They put up, they put them on all the devs. I think that is Star Rail. Yeah. They went, they went full enviosity, and you never go full enviosity. Yeah, I was like, oh, they're like listening yeah. a little, like they're, you know, talking about that. Ah. But anyways, why are all my characters low? I mean, you just died. You know, I feel definitely closer to HSR than like Genshin as like a... Are you saying like community perspective? Like as a player? Or as a... Like, as a as, uh, yeah, yeah, as a player in community. That, that is not what I said. Do not, do not say that. I, I, I will not be having this. That is, that, that is not, that is yeah, not let's not, let's not start that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm not down dude, for that when it's like, you know, you know, dude, yeah. bro. Do you understand how feral both communities are to just like have anything to use against each other? Like, okay, okay, okay. So what could Genshin use against Honkai Star Rail? Genuine question. When has anybody ever said, "Man, this one thing that Genshin has, I sure wish it was in Honkai"? Because let me tell you this right now, it sure as ain't the exploration. Because I'll be real, that shit is tedious as. 90% oh, oh shit I guess the jump button <laughs> yeah yeah I mean I, I guess I guess there's the jump button dude I, okay I'm gonna say this to the dead I Genshin rewards have been dog shit and Genshin gets so much shit and we need more like always however dude if I swear to god if Star Rail gets like five more pulls than Genshin it will literally be a riot like even if like dude that's also like complete Cap, okay, because for the anniversary, where when Honkai Star Rail didn't get a free five star, nobody even talked about it. They're like, eh, okay. Well, thanks for the doctor ratio. These 30 pulls are great. So I, I don't know what the blood is on about here, bro. Dude, do you see what happened for the anniversary? Yes, we were there. Okay. No, 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 but I'm saying like, not, not the Genshin one that went feral. Like, even on Star, Star Rail, they were expecting like a five star. And we got like 30 pulls, which is a lot. And that's good. And it's better yep. than Genshin. But it's like, it, 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 like, imagine. Ima Nothing. Okay. They're actually afraid of talking about it. They're so afraid of talking about it. Uh, it's like... Make way for the... And before you say that they're just joking, literally no, they're not. Because not even kidding you, what see what here's what y'all do. Here's what y'all do. You see when someone does something and you want to explain it, you say they're joking. First of all, they're not joking. And I can explain that with the past 40 seconds or 60 seconds of context in this call. First of all, they were freaking out the moment Zajev said Genshin could never. That put them into panic. And then two, they can't even talk about community behavior without being like nothing, 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 nothing. That's not trolling. That is a very serious thing. Like all of them were at it. It's like, don't say, don't, don't say that. The communities are so feral. Like, bro, it is so cap. That is literally not trolling at all. <laughs> Mountain wank. It's no good. Run. Is that what you're saying? And then they completely change the subject, bro. Jesus Christ. And his chat is actively encouraging him to continue what he was saying. Oh yeah, it's 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 kind of like funny watching it from the outside as someone who like really doesn't give a shit. Seeing how good the marketing it is for Star Rail. Oh, it's amazing. Like, yeah. The the people who had the idea to like in, in, in the Hoyo this is just, like marketing department to like To be fair, both games have trash anti rewards. HSR got ten more pulled than Genshin first and they also removed Gift of Odyssey too. Yeah, but the other thing is you gotta you gotta remember they gave away Doctor Ratio right before that. So, I mean, I'm on the believing side that if they were to not have given away a free Doctor Ratio, they would have been away a five star selector. And I'll be real, I think a free doctor ratio was a much more special than a five-star selector, in my opinion. Because it, it's like cool, it's unique. Give really good Star Rail rewards and then like hold off 
on giving anything for Genshin to pit the community against each other. It like they are they're very yeah. smart. they're very good at their job for sure. How was Zajef implying that the company is intentionally mistreating one game and intentionally treating one game properly as a way to advertise the other game? That is quite simply not a intentional thing. It's an accidental thing because Genshin blew up out of nowhere and they don't know what to do with it because it was meant to be a side game and they don't know what to do. This is not an intentional marketing ploy. They actually just don't know what the f to do. And it's like, yeah, it, it's, it's, Dude, it's so easy how intentional it is. Dude, it's so easy to like, I know this is going to sound like psychopathic to say, but like, I'm saying this not as someone who I would like to think does it or tries not to do this, but it's so easy to like manipulate your audience to like believe something like genuinely. Or Guys. <laughs> I don't do this. I'm not someone who tries to do this, but it's so easy to manipulate your audience. So first of all, it is not easy to manipulate your audience if they're above the age of 12, right? So I don't know how to manipulate my audience, right? But do you want to know the chats that are very easily manipulative? The ones where every single time you go into their chat, Emotes are flying at the speed of light the entire stream, and no one is typing anything other than based hog om. Oh, and sure, okay. When your chat is only, <laughs> when your chat is only emotes, the whole stream, then yes, I apologize. Your stream is purely children. All right, let's see how Fob's doing. Okay, so Fob's chat isn't spamming emotes and going at the speed of light. I guarantee you he's not playing Genshin. <sighs> when I can tell what game you're playing from just your chat and how they're typing, Probably not good. Probably not good when it's that different depending on what game you're playing. Okay, I mean, Tectone, every audience is manipulable. It's a part of the job of a streamer to do this. Yes, kids are more easy to manipulate, but farming chat exists in every age group. There's a big difference between farming chat and manipulating your audience to agree with your own false ideals. There is a massive difference. Or parrot something. It's like so easy. Streamers be like, no, it's just like an echo chamber. Boom, 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 boom. Also, streamers be like, yeah. <laughs> I would never manipulate my audience. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah, who's trying to join the parasocial club? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the biggest thing that makes me cringe as like because like I play both games and it's yeah, like today the the like I, I recognize they are just games. Oh shit, I have to do I, my dailies. I, yeah, sorry, sorry. I going. understand like people want to fight for what they think they deserve, which is like completely fine as well. But the moment like you start pitting yourself and other people against each other, it's not you versus the company anymore. You're putting yourself against other players, which is just like idiotic to me and just cringe like i just find that so yeah. like not like productive <laughs> yeah no i find it very productive if your fan base is furious at each other the company usually steps in yeah a lot of times it's community versus community when it's like also, no. yeah imagine if people had like a tenth of the energy they have when talking about anniversary rewards like i'll be real what in the fuck are these people even emoting at like what 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 are these people even saying like what what is this chat bro when it came to literally anything that actually mattered like bro who gives a shit wait watch you watch your wording though i'm not trying to i'm not trying to get this clipped watch your or wording if you get 3200 primo gems from explore 
Watch your wording. I'm not trying to get this clip. Hey, man. I pulled up the whole vibe. <laughs> I just pull up the whole damn vibe. I know you're talking about me. I know absolutely that this conversation is 1 million percent an attempt to shit talk me. Okay? Even your chat said the T word, Monka W. Okay? The T word. Afraid to say my name to where they call it the T word. That is insanity. Where? Oh, okay, y'all didn't notice that. Y'all didn't notice. And you're gonna act like I'm painting a false narrative, right? You you want you're you're saying they didn't say the T word in chat. You want me to go back? I will go back. The T man. Tectone lol W. T word. Monka W. Chat, I'm not stupid. And just because you don't get it doesn't mean that it's not there. They're so afraid of talking about me. Even their chat is afraid to say my name. That's what's insane. So, yeah. like, not, like, productive. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times it's community versus community. When I was like, also, no. Yeah. imagine if people had, like, a tenth of the energy they have when talking about anniversary rewards when it came to literally anything that actually mattered. So the reason why it seems like they have more energy typing for anniversary rewards is due to the fact that that's when the most players are hyped about the game because they expect larger rewards and the company usually promises them something of value. Like, bro, who gives a shit? Wait, you watch, watch your wording, though. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to get this clipped. Watch your or wording. Or if you get 3,200 Primo gems from exploring through additional chests, who cares, man? Like, uh, give us actual quality of life. Give us endgame. Give us... I mean... More T-Box shit. I, I, yeah, I, I think, okay, but I think. Do you want to know why there's so many content creators who scream for Endgame, even though the community themselves don't care about it? It's because they know they need more content to do on stream because they can't make it playing another game. And that's pretty much just it. And if that pisses you off, it pisses you off. But the reality is, why does this game need Endgame so much when you can go play any other game and just get it somewhere else? Okay, at this point, you need to be on Hoyo versus Dick. Okay. Play two days every six weeks, enjoy the story, buy the character, and shut the fuck up. Because nothing else is going to happen. And that's it. And if, that's ups if that upsets you, I apologize. No, I don't. That's just how it is, man. That's, that's something that you need to accept. Good. Did I you just ask for more teapot? I don't care. Like, I don't care about teapot. But I just want to make it, like, I don't mind if they make more teapot content. Hey, people <laughs> like the teapot, I guess. You do you. Like, yeah. Wait, what's what? I don't understand the point of okay, I, I, what you're saying here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's. I wish people had the same energy, asking the devs to do better about making the game better as they do asking about pulls premium yeah. currency. Well, it's crazy how they just said this and then saying pitting the communities against each other does nothing. But do you know how many people were screaming at the devs when the communities were pitted against each other? It's insane. Like, there was never any amount more than players asking for the developers to fix Genshin Impact than when the communities were furious at each other. But because you want a virtue signal, put yourself on a pedestal and say, I am above this. You're contradicting exactly what you just said. Yeah. That's why That's why Zhongli got a buff, too. Gacha games will always ask for currency uh... first. Like, I, I get that. I will say, though, a big thing I, I've got it with, like, example with, like, Teapot is... I'm a combat player. I play for the combat. I'm. I would love if we also got content for people that don't care about content, uh, combat. Like more like yeah, story exactly. shit. Teapot. This. 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 But when I ask for that's so cap. That is so cap. Because when you ask for more story content, you were just complaining about not having a skip button. Like that is straight cap. That is pandering one million percent. You're being a politician. That's just not true. You're just trying to seem like you're not selfish. For more content, more combat, more abyss, more this, more that. I don't want these mother being like, eh, go play another game. Dude, f go f yourself. Like, I want combat because I play for combat. You can want TCG. I would see it. If I see TCG, I'm not like, oh, why are there TCG? I'm like, oh, cool. Like, the, the five remaining TCG players are having fun. Good for them. So then you say that you don't shit on the new updates when people get content for the thing that they like. And then yet you just simply just shit on those players 
when they got the TCG. It's just straight up hypocritical in the same sentence. Even if you want to claim it's sarcasm, it's complete hypocritical, bro. It doesn't matter if it's passive aggression. It's still aggression. Okay? It doesn't matter if it's a joke. It's still how you feel. And you know for a fact when these, when these updates get showed out for nothing that you like, it does piss you off. So just tell it how it is. But like, sometimes, uh, like, yeah, I don't know. That brings but up a really interesting, like, issue with, like, the devs deciding what to, like, not prioritize, but, like, make content for. Yeah, you know what they're prioritizing? Making Hawkeye Star Rail. Because, like, one of the biggest things that people were so turned off by TCG, not that it's a car game, car, like, it's, yeah. TCG great. Like, at its core, it's a pretty well-made, like, fast, well, actually, I don't know the meta anymore, but, like, it's a cute. You are literally making shit up at this point. Okay, like what? I, I would love to know what narrative I'm making up. Hey, man, go ahead and spell it out. You're upset because I'm telling it how it is. And that's, and that's the bottom line. And you know I'm right. Because the moment I ask you to defend any of your points, you shut down entirely. You are either, one, going to not respond, or two, give the world's worst response and think that you're right. Just because people don't want others to get harassed and refrain from calling out people doesn't make them beta. Uh, yeah, it does. It 1 million percent does. Just because people don't want others to get harassed and refrain from calling out people doesn't make them beta. Yeah, it does. Because if you don't call someone out on their bullshit, they're going to continue. And your definition of harassed is to see someone say Genshin could never. Okay? If you think that Genshin can never equates to harassment, if you think Mint Picker equates to harassment, Sorry that you're a pussy. That's just not how it is. Okay? So I'm going to keep you safe. All right? So you never have to shed another tear. Let me go ahead and get you out of my chat. Enviosity goes live tomorrow at 8 a.m. You'll be safe there. Okay? If you really can't take constructive criticism or jokes and it hurts your feelings that much, get the fuck out of my chat. We do not need pussies here at all. It's like, easy on yeah, car, it's like very simple card game that like just works. It just but, was released with not enough stuff. Dude, there's no ranked. And I also love how none of those takes equated to stalking or obsessed. So bro is legit just making things up for fun. It, it's released yeah. with rewards. I think that that's the issue. When you like, when you start releasing like game modes and things with rewards, people feel obligated. As you want me to tell you how you know the Genshin community are the biggest cucks? Because they're still not advocating for the change in the weapon banner. When we all know the weapon banner in Honkai Star World is infinitely better, there is no reason for Genshin to not follow suit, 1 million percent. Especially if they're free to play, so need to play that to get Primo Gems, to progress, to get the favorite characters they want. Think and I don't, really I don't think they like balanced, but you don't think it is? No. Oh, I mean, yeah. sure, like, that may have played a role, but I think the biggest reason why TCG ended up, at least in the West, kind of... Okay, so here's another one. You bitched about Endgame 2, Tectone. You said Endgame is why Wuwa is good. You're rewriting the narrative. No, I'm not. You want me to tell you why? Because I'm not sitting here complaining about Genshin Impact while playing Genshin Impact. You know what I did? I quit the game. So no, I'm not rewriting the narrative. I'm a guy where... I commit to the things I say. You're complaining about CCs. Yes, I 1 million percent am going to complain about other CCs who are parroting the things that I said two and a half years ago that they told me was problematic to say. So 1 million percent, yes, I'm going to say that. If you quit, then don't bitch. That's not how it works, okay? Because if a thing that I used to love is bad, so I quit and I continue to see it not improve after three years, I'm still going to complain. You're not a part of the Genshin community either. So who are you, Blizzard Milk? Who are you to decide? And by the way, when did I ever say I was a part of the Genshin community? Question. Let me know. Let me know when I said I was. Are you the, are you the official representative of Genshin Impact? You literally don't play the game. That's my whole point. That's my whole point. And you are the reason why the community shit. Because when you say, shut the up and move on you're the reason why the game is bad because you say you don't play the game so you can't tell the game how to improve that's very fitting for the name blizzard in your name i bet you're one of the other people who play world of warcraft how's the game state of that as well doesn't matter if i don't play the game i've played it and i know a hell of a lot more than 99 percent of people who do play it 
But congratulations, Blizzard Milk. You are the reason why the game is still as shit as it is because you want to say, accept this shit sandwich and eat it. And you think you're so based, it's insane. I'm saying you're screaming into the void and bitching for no reason. So first of all, I'm not bitching for any reason, too. This will be able to weaponize a lot of the people in order to hopefully get the game better treatment, better service, and also a better space in order to communicate their issues for the game. And rather than just being told, ah, oh, if you don't like it, then just quit. As everybody else has also said, as you have also said, I'm saying accept it and move on. No, I'm good. You want to know why? Because I still make money talking about it. It's my job, man. Hoyo isn't going to change no matter how much you bitch. Let me ask you a question. Do you play? So you're just pandering then, huh? No, that's not pandering. <laughs> pandering to what, man? Do you still play Genshin Blizzard Milk? Let me know. No, but I also don't bitch. So why do you care? What do you play, Blizzard Milk? HSR. So let me ask you a question. Why does it bother you when I call out other content creators bullshit and I say that the game shit is bad? Why does it bother you? I don't want to see your stream bitching about this for hours. I want to see actual content. This is the actual content. So let me ask you a question, Blizzard Milk. What content would you prefer right now? What do you want me to do? Regardless that shit Tectone is saying, Blizzard Milk is stupid. Yeah, yeah, true. Absolutely. He wants to control and silence you. No, we're all good, man. I mean, we're going to react to this whole thing, man. This content is better than playing nothing, walking around in HSR or Genshin Bozo. Well, I'm going to be real, man. I wasn't going to do either of those things anyways. I got like 18 videos I need to react to. All right, anyways, believe we've disproved this guy's point. I'm not gonna ban him because now he's a sub. Let's continue. Not really picking up too much is because it was released in a state where honestly, every deck ran the same cards, right? There was a set of like yep. 20 good cards, 30 acceptable cards. And yeah, the, the TCG sucks. Dog shit. And so every deck has had 20 of the same cards. And then no, but, 10 of the 30th. Uh, and the worst thing is, is when people defend the TCG, because it's like, well, like, all card games are imbalanced. Yes, but you have to understand, when a real physical card game is unbalanced, it's hard to change because they have to ch like print out new stock and release a new set to balance it because you can't change a physical asset. This is electronic. If a card is underpowered or if a card is overpowered, you can fix it immediately, which is why it makes no sense to leave a card game this unbalanced. Oh, uh, uh, I see what you're saying. You're, you're talking uh, about the game like concept I, of the. I, as I think I think you're too I mean, in deep on the meta though. Like yeah, I think yeah. even I'm, if I'm the meta was about, like, yeah, like marketing any game mode. Is what yeah, about. like I think even if the meta was like heaven on earth and it's super fun, if there's no rank system, I am not like what the f am I gonna do? like? What am I playing for? For enjoyment? I I don't have enjoyment. Look at me. So why are you playing Genshin? Because there's no rank system in that either. So why is it a problem if that has it, but when Genshin has that same problem, you don't say anything? I'm playing Genshin. What animal are those? I don't know. Sumter beast, I think. But it's like, I feel like, yeah, like that's all true, but it's like, there needs to be a reason to keep playing. Then like, you could argue oh, rewards, but it's like, the thing is, is like, well, like, as you're saying, I guess it's like, I need so like something to work towards. Like, I, you know, make it competitive. Like I'm not playing casual Hearthstone unranked. Like I'm not like, I'm not like, it's not happening, but I have thousands of hours in Hearthstone or like at least, yeah, thousands. I feel like this entire, this entire conversation is when other games up, it's or it's horrible. But when Genshin back up, oh my God, guys, don't talk about it. And if anybody else ever talks about it, oh my God, it's causing drama. <laughs> there's not really anything else to say, right? There's, there's, not, there's not really anything else to say, but that's pretty much the past hour and a half of VOD is if Genshin f***s up, it's fine, but if another game f***s up, it's terrible. And anybody who's trying to write that wrong is toxic. <laughs> what the f***, bro? Jesus. I can't believe they called me the p word. Actually insanity.